I was in urgent care last week and this is basically what happened to me. Oh, you know that's no good. Looks like you have a slight temperature here. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't been feeling 100%. You have a cough? Not really, I was just clearing my throat. Diarrhea? Um, no thanks. Ma'am, have you been out of the country in the last month or so? You mean like in... Mexico? Okay, well, you're gonna have to put this on and we'll get you checked in immediately. What are you doing for back pain? I'm sorry, I can't understand you with that silly face mask on. I came in for back pain, not the swine flu. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay now, well, we're gonna have to give you a full rectal examination. More bien! You betcha. So I really had to wear one of these while I was in the waiting room waiting for my name to be called. And the only television set in there was playing a cover story on the swine flu. No one would sit by me. No one would talk to me. It was great! These little things yield a lot of power. Wear one and nobody will want to talk to you. You'll be completely left alone. Michael Jackson actually had a great idea. I guess the pork industry is really upset with all the hype about the swine flu because their sales are down. But I don't know, do they really have a point here with changing the name from swine flu to something else? Really, it's not like saying swine makes me want to eat pork products anyway. Mmm, what smells so good, Mom? What are we having for dinner? <laughs> Mommy's cooking up some swine tonight! Yeah! First of all, the word swine is not that appetizing. And secondly, pairing it up with the word influenza or flu just makes me want to throw up all over myself and roll around on the floor and bread myself in Special K. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's time for your rectal examination. <laughs> No. You know, for as much as I joke around about this, this is actually a really serious thing and I really shouldn't be joking about it because people have died and th it's not funny. Initial laboratory testing has shown that this particular swine flu outbreak is very similar to the influenza found in North American pigs. More testing was done and they found out they were wrong. This H1N1 has genes very similar to that of pigs found in Europe and Asia and also has avian genes and human genes in it. Basically, a pig has the unfortunate ability to be infected by different viruses from different sources at the exact same time, i.e. bird influenza and human influenza. You've got bird, and you've got humans, and you've got a pig. The pig was infected with bird influenza and infected with human influenza, as well as its own piggy influenza. And somehow it mutated in the lungs or in the snout area, and he achewed it all over the world, and now that's how we have the swine flu. This is serious stuff. Very serious. So they're trying to come up with this antidote or inoculation or flu shot to prevent people from getting the swine flu. <laughs> I'm sorry to play devil's advocate here, but um, this uh, all happened in the 70s and more people ended up dying from the damn shot than they did from the flu itself. I don't know about you guys, but even if they do come up with a safe shot, I'm not going to go get it. I, I just... I <laughs> I'm just going to drink some orange juice, just stock up on some more OJ and be call it good, you know? Take my chances. Live on the edge. And one last thing, let's not let the swine flu keep us from properly celebrating Cinco de Mayo because the 5th of May is so much cooler than the 6th of May. Mwah! Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I don't go anywhere without my Hannah Montana hand sanitizer.